Hey guys, I wanted to create this video. I had noticed another question in the Doodly group about where to get color images. I have shown a few of my tutorials and several of my doodle videos and I've had this question asked and I've seen it asked a lot. So I am going to show you how I have gone about uh, obtaining these images and hopefully this will make your life easier as well. So whether you've bought the standard or enterprise package, uh, you would notice that these characters are all in default black and white. Everything, the scenes, the props, everything is in black and white. And that's great. As you can see, they've got great detail, but sometimes we like to add color. So as in the case with the business money female here, if you preview, they will draw in the same way. You'll see in wonderful detail how they are brought into existence here on the screen and I am going to show you exactly what to do. So in her case, you'll look and you'll see when I click on this button. Okay, you see all these SVG draw paths here and that's because that's the kind of file it is. When I brought her in, I had to click on that little pencil icon, load the SVG paths. And what it did was it brought up all of these pre-made paths and this is, this is how the program recognizes to draw it, all right? In that case, you would go ahead, save and return, load the SVG path, save and return. In this case, we'll return without saving. That is how you use an SVG path. And I do have another video on that, which I will link into this one. So how do you go about obtaining these color images? I had purchased, this was several months ago, I had purchased the Whiteboard Video Pack 1. I'd gotten an email about this offer that was going on and buying all these SVG packs. It came with a bunch of royalty free music and some backgrounds, but I was interested in the characters. It was about 37 bucks. I thought it was well worth it. And this right here is one of, I don't know, five or six different folders of characters. There's 20 in each one. All right, so this is all the business money female. If you look here, you will see that would be a PNG file. This is actually an SVG file. It changed it out to GIMP because I downloaded GIMP the other day, so I'm not sure why that did that. But if you bought the video pack or a video pack, you would look for the SVG image. And as you can see, she's here in black and white and she's here in color. So using deduction, you would go ahead, choose the SVG image, which obviously has color, and you would upload that into Doodly. However, if you don't have the money or don't want to spend the money on buying SVG vectors, you can go to Pixabay. So Pixabay is a free online image, royalty free stock. You don't have to sign up for an account or anything. I did just to make my life easier, but it doesn't cost you a thing. And in this case, maybe you would type in woman if you wanted to go ahead and grab, you know, an image of a female, let's just say, in this case, you would have images, you can always bring in a picture and do the draw paths. I did create another video on how to do that as well, create, you know, draw paths of actual images. In this case, we're going to go to vector graphics. And we will look for a female. And so I'm going to go with this one because I happen to know this one comes in an SVG. And you would go to free download. And as you can see right here, SVG. And it's a very lightweight. You see it's only nine, nine kilobytes there. So you would download it and then you would upload that right into Doodly. And in Doodly, I happen to have that one. So I think I would type in couple. Okay, I have another version of it. We'll move her over real quick. We'll make them larger. All right, this is the exact same thing that I had shown you in the, in the other picture that's just slightly different colors. I had already loaded the SVG paths. So I would save it. We would preview. And they're going to draw the black and white image. They'll draw the business money female. And they're going to draw this couple. Really, that is the easiest way to go about finding color images to bring into Doodly. I have seen a lot of other 
um, videos and tutorials about how to work with Inkscape. I had an issue working with Inkscape. I trans, you know, I transformed a PNG into into an SVG. It it was just it was a matter of getting it light enough, lightweight enough to put in there, but. There are ways to go about it, but this is the easiest way I can think of, and this is the way that has worked for me. I hope this has helped you, and please feel free to submit any comments in the comment section of the video. And until next time, take care.